Welcome back folks, this is Tommy, help with gadgets, and we have an interesting uh, knife to do a disassembly and cleaning on here. This is the PMP Ares. Um, so I could show it here. Um, and uh, this one's another one of the knives that is on loan from Mr. Eddie, so let's go ahead and get this one apart and, uh, and take a look at it. Hopefully this will be a fairly straightforward... Lots of uh, lots of Loctite there. Uh, so hopefully this will be a fairly straightforward disassembly. Um, I believe that's going to be a T6 for the body screws. Not my favorite, but uh, it is what it is. Okay. And looks like we're going to have to take out this top. Clip screw it. I'm just trying to be very careful not to strip out the uh, T6s there. That is the, the goal as we do this. See if I can get this to come apart, or if I'm going to have to. Uh, that part's coming apart, and we have we have a washer that has escaped. That'll get that clip screw out. Now let's see if I can get this thing to come apart. It is, there is movement. It is wiggling, so there we go. Okay, so there we have the interior. You can see there's some uh, milling for weight reduction. And let's get this off. There's the uh, the bearings, and I'm going to drop that in um, the alcohol bath over there. It does look fairly clean inside, so this uh, should be hopefully an easy task of just wiping this one down and uh, and putting it back together. It's a fairly fairly thick blade stock there. And not not a whole lot uh, not a whole lot to clean. All right. The PMP um, Aries and the PMP Grizzly, I think, were actually the first PMP. Um, branded knives that I had had the opportunity of experiencing and I don't know a whole lot about the company. Before I do the review on these I'll have to do some research and uh, and uh, find out a little bit more. Let's try to clean. Clean all of the uh, crooks and crevices of this. It has a very large uh, um, appendage on the uh, backspacer. All right, let's get uh, a little bit of alcohol here and make sure these areas for the pivot screw, the pivot, and the washers are. Good to go. We actually got our backspacer there and looks like it's fairly clean. So 
no worries there. We'll just pop that back in place. Make sure I'm on the on camera there. All right. I think we're good to go. I do like the way that this is up here in that uh, that area. Okay. Let's get another fresh. alcohol pad out here, clean off the clean off. whoops that washer keeps jumping clean off those washers and try to get those back in the correct orientation clean off the bearings all right and then I especially want to get this uh, pivot screw because it had a ton of Loctite in those threads let's see if we can make it look a little bit better it actually made it look a lot better now I will put a little bit of Loctite back on there uh, but it shouldn't be to the extent that uh, That it was on there when we took it apart so all right give that a second i will uh, go ahead and and uh, for folks that may want to put some different bearings in this does appear to be a six millimeter pivot and Three sixty fourths, so six millimeter, three sixty fourths on the on the bearings. All right, let's go ahead and get this back together. Got a D shaped uh, pivot hole there and a D shaped pivot. Just slide right in like so. We will go ahead and put that uh, bearing on. Well, hang on a second. We got a, got ahead of ourselves here. Um, let's try that again. Let's go ahead and put a washer there, and then put a little, few little drops of Gunny Glide. I like using the Gunny Glide there. Let's get the um, blade on, but before I do, I wanted to point out that this uses uh, this external um, stop pin or the thumb stud type of a stop pin. And uh, as you can see here, um, that comes up and, and contacts this surface there, and then also contacts the surface there to uh, act as a stop pin. Just wanted to show that. Let's get that backspacer back on. And let's see. Now let's go ahead and get the. Let me go ahead and put this washer on before I forget. Let's get the uh, detent ball, just a little drop there, and go ahead and slide this one back together. All right, we're going to put some of the Loctite stick on the threads there. Gently thread this pivot screw back on. Just going to snug it up, but I don't want to put it uh, too tight. We'll probably have to uh, do some adjustment here momentarily. 
Let's get the screw back in. The clip. And then also this body screw. And while I'm at it, I want to go ahead and check and make sure that That is snug. The same for this clip screw. They're all good to go. Alright. Got a little bit of movement there, so let's tighten pivot screw just a little bit. Still a uh, very little bit of movement there so again tighten it just a tad and I'm not feeling any movement up and down side to side and I think we have it so there you go this is the uh, PMP knives Aries and uh, hope you all have enjoyed the uh, uh, disassembly and cleaning here Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so, leave a comment, I enjoy the comments, and hope to see y'all again soon. Thanks for watching.